Chunky followers, I know what you want to know. You want to know how the food was here at the Rock Hill Diner. Hey guys, Ronnie here from Southern Food Junkie. Today we're going to stop in a new restaurant that's open up here in Rock Hill, South Carolina. It's called the Rock Hill Diner. It's been open for, I don't know, a couple months now. Hadn't had a chance to check it out yet. So we're going to go in here and check it out, see what it's all about. Right off of Cherry Road, right next to Kmart. Mayonnaise, chicken breast. Mm. I use Greek seasoning on that marinade. Turn it green. Rice. I got a side of banana pudding. Waitress told me that banana pudding was a little bit. Hey followers, I know what you want to know. You want to know how the food was here at the Rock Hill Diner. So I'm here to tell you that the food was excellent. Uh, I will be back to try this out. I'm interested in trying out some more of their daily specials been really waiting on a place like this to show up in this town uh, that I can have lunch and have a meat and two vegetables <clears throat> oddly enough banana pudding was considered a vegetable so I did go ahead and get that today and try it out the banana pudding was pretty good it was kind of in between what I would say is like a traditional southern homemade banana pudding and then the type of pudding that's uh, where people buy the Jello banana pudding flavor. It was a custard type banana pudding that I think is homemade. And then they add bananas and cookies and it's just kind of mixed up. It just didn't have the meringue on top. But I really liked it. It, had, it was real thick and, and uh, like I said, it was a custard type of pudding. Uh, for my entree, I had grilled chicken. It was marinated and Greek seasonings. Uh, this is similar to, uh, I would consider this place similar to the restaurant that I ate at called Park Place up in uh, Pineville, North Carolina. This is uh, in an old Shoney's building, and Park Place kind of looks like it's in an old Shoney's building. Uh, Greek owners, um, you know, most of these Greek diners, they have really excellent food. Um, they usually have, uh, you know, some type of Greek food, whether it be like Euros, and uh, like this one had Euros and, and baklava. And it had a um, seafood menu. It just had a ton of stuff on here. And the reason why I come here was uh, I've had several people mention to try this place out. Some some of our um, friends that I know. And then, uh, and then some people have left comments uh, on posts that I've shared that I need to get down here and try it out. And I'm, I am really appreciate those recommending it because I really liked it. And I will be back. And um, that's about it. Food was good. Uh... My waiter, my waitress was Tammy, and she was really nice and uh, got seated right away. I meant to mention also the building has been completely remodeled on the inside. New uh, fabric on the uh, on the booths, uh, paint, 
ceiling tiles, the whole nine yards in this old Shawnee. So it looks like they've even paved the parking lot here. So uh, get down here and try it out. If you've already been here, leave us a note, guys. And we appreciate y'all stopping by and hanging out with us here. And uh, let's get food junk, guys. See y'all later.